You are now listening to About That Business, hosted by Rom Wills. Rom Wills is an entrepreneur and personal coach who has helped people reach their fullest potential personally and professionally. Take it away, Rom. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Sunday Morning Simulcast with Rom Wills. Grow from your mistakes. You know what? It's a sad thing I see out here with many people. They'll they'll mess up. They'll mess up. They really show me the human being that hasn't made a mistake and hasn't did anything wrong and made perfect moves all the time. And I'm gonna show you some really good fiction. <laughs> Be like that person don't exist. <laughs> Unless, unless you could do a full sprint on a lake <laughs> and raise the dead and then levitate into the skies, you a human being. You done made a mistake in life. Everybody did. Everybody made a bad choice. Everybody, everybody's made something and it's like, damn, I should have did something different. And it's no, it's no shame in that. Like many people will learn from their mistakes and grow from their mistakes. Many people will learn and grow from their mistakes, and that's what my message is. But before we really get into that message, let's think about the other way. There's a lot of people who make a mistake, and then they feel real bad about it. They feel stupid. They they develop a self-loathing. They're like, man, I'm stupid. I made this mistake. They don't really learn from it, but they keep going. And see, they'll have that self-loathing or... They'll feel bad about their mistake, and then you know what they'll do? They start making a series of bad choices because once you don't learn from that choice, one of the things people do is they don't learn from the choice, and they'll keep making bad choices. They'll keep making the same mistake over and over. And then next thing you know, they look up, and they might have had a promising career, a promising life, a promising relationship. But they keep making the same mistake over. Like a common mistake people make is always in relationships. They'll get that person who is totally toxic to them. They'll then they'll get it and it'll leave it leave them emotionally devastated. But then they'll get back into the dating game or relationship game. And you know, they saw the signs on why they made that mistake. But they'll they'll go back right to that same person. And not the literal person, but someone with a similar characteristics. In fact, most people, most people, when they're in a relationship, if they look at their relationship partners, it's usually the same person in terms of spirit, not in terms of actual people. And that's some deep stuff. So they'll keep going back and they'll go back and do the exact same thing. And then break up from that person, go through the same hell, then do it again. A lot of people uh, stuck in a loop. See, it's nothing wrong with falling. It's nothing wrong with a mistake. But the key to it is to learn from it, grow from it. Don't get stuck there. Don't get stuck. Don't feel bad. You got to say, look, you got to, what's that old saying? Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. You got to be like, okay, all right, I done learned. Okay, if I get this type of person, that's going to be a problem. All right, let me look for something different. Or if, you, if you're dealing with that person, you see the red flags. And it, it's not just in relationships. It could be how you live in your life, the jobs, where you live in, the uh, vehicles you get. Yeah, it can be something as simple as a vehicle. You keep buying a vehicle based on how good it looks, but you can't afford it or something. That's a mistake. Or you keep getting fired from jobs for the same dumb reason. It's like you might show up late or you might be insubordinate and you ain't figured it out. And you keep doing the same thing. No, when you make mistakes, they're not really mistakes. They're really learning experiences. Like, I've never made a mistake in life. Now, I know I said something about walking on water and stuff, but I haven't. What I've had is a lot of learning experiences. I've had a ton of learning experiences. And I was like, oh, I learned I shouldn't do it that way. (laughs) So I stopped doing it that way. That's what you're supposed to learn. It's like, oh, wait a minute. I should pay attention to this, that, and the third. Now, something I can personally say. Yeah, I'm going to brag about this. I've been burned, but I've never been burned the same way twice. I've never been burned the same way twice. Is If I got burned, it, at best, it would be close to the same way. At best. 
But usually it got to be something new I haven't experienced. Because once I experience something, I sit back. I'm that type, I'll sit back and analyze the mistake. You know, I should have did this. I should have did this. So next time I see it, and it's like, oh, no matter how much. See, one thing, one problem with people is they develop a habit. Like when they do bad things, they make uh, learning experiences or they experience a learning experience. Instead of they develop a habit around it. Like you have some, um, I've seen this with women more so than men. Like women, they already know they keep picking losers. But they, it gets into such a habit. It becomes such a habit that they already have the plan for when they break up. Like they're going into it knowing um, that this is likely to break up because it's the same person as the person before. It's the same spirit. So they already know it's going to break up. They already got their plan together. They already got the uh, bug out plan. They got the bag packed. They got the money stashed, everything. And they'll jump right into it. It'd be the same person. And they know it. But it's because it became a habit. See, one thing, part of growing from mistakes, growing from learning experiences is, you know, sometimes you just got to break the habit. Sometimes you got to, like, consciously go in a different direction. That's how you learn from stuff. And you're supposed to grow from it. It's like the kid who touches the hot stove. They learn again not to touch the hot stove, or they at least learn to make sure the stove is off before they touch it. That's And it's just that simple. It's just that simple. Or learning how to walk. You know, when you first learn how to walk, you're going to fall a few times. I remember when my youngest son was learning how to walk. He didn't really crawl. He was an interesting cat. He really, I don't, I can't, I can't, I don't have a memory of him crawling at all. It was like he was sitting there and then he just like got on his little stubbly feet, walking like Fred Sanford, which he still does, and fell again. <laughs> And you laugh about it. Then get up, fall again. <laughs> then all of a sudden, he he get up and just walk. You know, he <laughs> get up and just he just walked. I said, this dude never really crawled. <laughs> that says something about his personality too, because he's a stubborn little kid. <laughs> he's like, man, I ain't crawling for nothing. Forget y'all. <laughs> but he, ain't, you know, it's funny. He did all that smiling. He ain't never cry or anything. He just get there, sit there a little bit, figure, think about something, then he get right back up. <laughs> but that's how you do it in life. You figure it out. You figure, you know what, this way ain't working for me. Let me try this other way. Let me try, let me try this other way. And that works a whole thousand times better. Like, uh, you know, and sometimes, you know what, sometimes you can grow from a mistake, like do everything right, but maybe you do something in a different way by accident. And then like, hey, wait, that's a better way. Like some of my best work have come by accident. And it's like, oh, wait, I can do it this way. <laughs> I was like, oh, man, that's how I'm going to roll with this now. That's how I'm going to roll with this now. So, yeah, grow from your mistakes. So anyway, that's all I have for today. I want y'all to keep rising and transforming. Peace.